How do you feel about your ex-husband? He ruined my life. He destroyed my life. I'm humiliated. I may never trust anybody again the way that I did. If I never see him again after this day, that's fine. It was very uh, difficult. Every time she got off the stand and went back into the witness room, she broke down crying. It was very, very uh, emotional, torturous, having to relive the worst minutes, months, years of her life with strangers. We heard the last thing she said essentially before she got off the stand about how she feels about Ross Harris. Why do you think it was important for Maddox to have her say that? Because she's not here because she still loves Ross Harris. She's not trying to protect him. She's telling the truth that he was a good father. He may not have been the greatest husband in the world, but he cared deeply about Cooper. And there's no evidence to say otherwise, except for the bad character they brought in. And it's interesting because all the information they brought in about Ross being a bad husband from text messages, emails, and otherwise, there's none of that evidence anywhere about him being a bad dad. Not one person has come into the courtroom and said he's a bad father. There's nothing at all they've uncovered showing he's a bad father. Just the opposite. During the testimony of this case, they tried to impugn her character as well, discussing how she acted and some suspicious statements she made. Um, how, how did she handle that? She did great. May God have mercy on the souls of those who want to judge others based on their demeanor when they are being viewed in a public lens, going through the worst moment of their life. How dare they? How dare they even suggest? I want each person to record themselves next time they are told the most tragic thing in humanity and see how they react. People on social media are still judging her. It's disgusting and it's outrageous. It is. We are a people of critics. Shouldn't judge others. When you were in that room, did he ever tell you that he'd gotten up at 5.43 a.m. around then or was awake at that point uh, messaging uh, strangers? No, he destroyed my life. <laughs> I don't, I didn't know about these things. I... <laughs> And I'm sorry we have to ask you these questions, but you, you understand why we're having to do this, right? I mean, she mentioned in there that she's watched or seen part of the testimony. Why would she put herself through that? You know, she's uh, she has a right to watch because she's Cooper's mother, and the state of Georgia allows for that. And normally, the district attorney always wants the victim's family in the courtroom. This is a different situation. The district attorney had no relationship or contact with her. They never once apologized to her, never tried to send her letters, say we're sorry for the way we treated you, the way we're sorry for the way we cast a negative light upon you. We're sorry that you lost your child. You heard this yesterday. The police put her in a cold room while she had her friends outside waiting in the lobby that were there to comfort her and left her by herself after she just found out her child passed. That's pretty brutal. I couldn't think of anybody being handled in such a bad way. We don't treat animals like that. And she made it clear that in some way she's trying to, to repair her life and move on, but it, it may be difficult. What can anybody do when you've lost a child? I can't imagine losing a child. Just thinking about it devastates me. Watching her testify, my son's about the same age Cooper was, my son right now, and it, I, you, you, I was sitting with you yesterday, probably saw I was emotional. It's, it's sad. It's heart-wrenching. She can only do what she could do. She has a strong faith in God. She's moved on. She has a new love interest in her life. We hope that he's going to be treat her much better than her last uh, husband and uh, try to just move forward, take it day by day. It's all anybody could expect of her. Yeah. The state's trying to paint her as somebody that didn't know that her husband was doing th these things behind her back and they're going to try to say we feel bad for her. But look, while she thought that he was a decent husband, which she testified that she knew there were problems in the marriage, that he wasn't the best husband in the world. That was her testimony that therefore he must not know these things about him being a father. But this case is just based on supposition, innuendo, and speculation. There's no smoking gun. There's been nothing ever shown other than just pieces of evidence like text messages and things that people will search on the internet to try to bring down Ross Harris. I can't imagine what, if they looked at your Google, someone else's Google, your text message, you're just trying to take, text messaging is supposed to be just short and sweet. This isn't your life details when you're sending it out to somebody else. All I can say is that I, w I, was, v I was very upset.
I was angry, I was mad, I was disappointed. All of the things that I've felt throughout this trial. 